Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool stamper on a CNC machine that you may or may not already own. If you don't own one, you should probably buy one. It would make this project easier. Let's get started. All right, so to make this cool project, we're gonna need an eraser, and I got this one from Dollar Tree, where everything is $1. Um, just make sure it's rubber. And that's what erasers are usually made from. So, my bad. <laughs> but I did notice something in regards to this one. It tried cutting. I've got a little bit for my logo, and it's supposed to cut some slices. It ended up getting it too short. So, as you'll notice here, I don't always get it. So, what I'm trying to do is I'll just cut these by hand with my uh, X Acto knife. I'm using some endpoint high precision engraving tool bits to carve this out. Here I'm fast forwarding the time lapse, but after the job completed the first time, it still had some little fuzzy, so I sent the job again for a second time, and this is the results. The fact that I held it down not perfectly straight doesn't matter because I'm just going to use the bandsaw to remove all the excess anyway. Alright, so uh, that came out really nice. I haven't had to do anything with the X-Acto knife to make it look like that. Just running it twice did that on its own. So I'll go ahead and uh, straighten it up really quick and put a, uh, a backer on it. So we've got some pressure when we push down, but that looks really good compared to the other one. See these lines? That's kind of part of my logo. So I'll just take the X-Acto knife and make some slits here and, and fix those. I made a backer for the stamp using a piece of scrap oak. Next, I used a scalpel to cut slits in the letter I to give it the effect of a drill bit. Next, I make a handle for the stamper by rolling around a piece of wood on the belt sander. I drill a hole in the backer piece and add a screw and some wood glue. Then, I use some stick fast glue to attach the racer to my wood handle. And there we have it, one easy to make custom stamper made from a Dollar Tree eraser. While my large wooden stamper never really worked well, it led me down a path of trying a jumbo eraser. And after I shot this video, I realized I wasn't the first on YouTube to make a giant eraser into a stamp. If I would have known this, I would have likely tried a flip flop or stole some crazy truck driver's mud flap. But instead, I saved money by doing the work in house. And I only spent $5 of my wife's money making this video. Hopefully this motivates you to sashay through your local Dollar Tree and make your own wicked cool stamp.